The Faldi's ruins are north of Helavis. The Earth Pulse Point is to the north, too. Probably in the very same place. Helavis is... different now, isn't it? Maybe, but you've changed, too. True. When I first met all of you, I never could have imagined I would go on such a journey. I could barely even think then. But then Velvet let me keep this compass. And Aizen and Rokuro taught me to be myself. They certainly did. And look at Dial. He's a regular part of the Von Altia's crew now. Even Restless Bienfu and Grimoire are now part of our merry band. Yep! Hey, aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, and the Prince and his Hawk? And Koragane and Kamawana are with us. Listen, I've got more part in this tale than any of them. Hush. Whatever I'd say, you'd say it doesn't matter to you. At last you begin to understand me. Magic Azam. Uh, I didn't think Northgand would be this cold. But Northgand was Teresa's territory. Wouldn't you have been here with her? I think having my awareness controlled meant my senses were dulled as well. I see. But the cold doesn't seem to be bothering Aizen at all. In fact, everyone else seems comfortable here. If you shiver at these temperatures, you'll never make it on the high seas. In my youth, I practiced the blade under the blazing sun and through raging blizzards. Besides, when I turned into a demon, extreme temperatures ceased to affect me. The same thing happened to me. I used to hate winter. So that's some good luck. But what of yourself? You seem to be handling it just fine. I'm freezing, actually. I don't know how you stand it. I loathe the cold more than anything. That's why I've armed myself with a secret weapon. I've stuck thin, yet powerful, cuckoo brand hand warmers all over myself! I even packed them in my shoes! Really? That sounds amazing! I'm willing to share, if you act like a dove. What? Go cuckoo, like a dove! Please share your cuckoo warmers with me. Cuckoo... Hmm, you're no velvet, that's for sure. <laughs> That's a messed up compliment. Uh, hey, welcome back to Tales of Berseria. What's good, everybody? I am Joshua Jericho. We are continuing our path after we have infiltrated Hellebees and we're going to go to the ruins in the north and probably ruin things, to be honest. I'll finish this now. That seems to be part of our whole deal. But these guys did not little up. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. They did not bother to evolve that round. But I'm gonna guess when we get up in here, it'll probably get a lot tougher. La la la. New day, new save. Here we go. Man, I remember I went no in guards. here. I think it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'd say good. We can march straight in. I remember I wondered what was in here at the very early part of the game and I looked in here and there were a bunch of guards and I was like, this is not where I want to be. I immediately left. So now there's no guards. It feels ominous. I guess we'll find out. Only one way to find out and that is to find out. So I thought I should give an update on dismantling and enhancement since the last time I spoke about it. I was like, is anyone else run into the problem where you have too much, too much like balmy fluids and stuff? So, at the time, I had way too Come much on, really? balmy fluid and uh, mellow fluid and even like some of the early stuff like amber, jazz like that, and 
but not enough of the other things like bronze and um, I don't know, calcite and that kind of thing. So I started selling stacks of things, balmy fluids and ambers and things like that that I had 99 of. And I think that was maybe a bad idea because <laughs> since then, I'm now running into a situation where now that I can enhance more than a free, I need some of the stuff that I had before in large, large quantities, and I don't got it. I already sold stacks of it. So, if you haven't started dismantling this stuff yet, you're ahead of the game. I don't think it's going to be a huge problem, but I do kind of wish I could do... I do. I wish I could kind of like get back some of that jazz. So what you gonna do? Eat up zombies. That's what you're gonna do. Kill them zombies. Eat their brains. Oh, wait, no. Keep them from eating your brains. That's it. That's the one. Sorry to cut you down. I'll probably do some rotating of people in this dungeon, I think. You're fighting the Reaper. Not that I need to, but I did get a whole bunch of new stuff from the ah. Thank you for the heal. David in the comments pointed out that he uses his Resurrect because it also has a heal on it. So. I still think it's really weird that his Resurrect also heals or whatever. But nice. Somebody wanna... Thank you. There we go. We're finished here. Let's go. Yeah. Kind of a nice creepy place. There sure are a lot of molecule posted here. They're probably here to protect the Therian, right? One would assume. The exorcist controlling them can't be far then. Be careful. Hmm. Let's get started. Have How many exorcists are there though? Why would the exorcists not be with the molecule? I am confused. I like these guys. Like, I've seen these guys before when they were demon things. And I like them better like this, like with. Exorcist armor. They look pretty cool. I don't know why. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. So is this thing not a zombie and it's actually a Malachim? You better be ready. Heaven's <laughs> Undying Malachim. The exorcist of like they're like so taking control of the Malachim that they're they won't even let him die they're like nope you have to be my Malachim through death forever and ever you will be mine doesn't seem fair but it does seem something that Abby would do If you want to live, get out of my way. You'll be rushed on my body. Here's my only thought. Oscar was in charge of the Therian Kamoa Kamoa Right? 
I don't know why I can't say her name. I just can't. So I'll just pack on the anymore. Um, so, karaoke was a theory, and, and Oscar was a control lover. And in the forest where we got the beetle that nobody ever talks about anymore, because I guess it's a beetle, so why would you talk about it? In the forest with the beetle, Melchior was technically there. I hope I did a good job. So maybe he was in charge of it? Not entirely sure on that one. So do they have somebody here? In charge of this one? Move it or die. I wonder. You would think if it was Teresa we you know, the people would know about it. Although if it was Teresa and she was not taking care of Heloise, that would be kind of fitting of the theme of the game. Like all the people that we just talked to are like, we want Teresa back. Why did they take her away? Bring her to come back. And then we find out she's actually here and doesn't care about the city at all. That would be interesting. Maybe that's what's going on. Hmm. Am I going to be disappointed now if it's not Teresa? Let me think. I might actually be disappointed now if it's not Teresa. <laughs> One of those situations where I've convinced myself it's an awesome thing, and now I'm like, oh wait, no, no, if it's not, then I'm gonna be unhappy. You're just lucky I made it quick. I find it ironic the one where the guy's like, you're just lucky I made it quick, happens to be pretty much the longest outro scene of all. I can't even watch it anymore. It's so long. I have to skip it every time. Cat box! Cat box! Please be under 300. Gosh darn it. I have 291. I'm like so close. And still not there. Alright. We'll just have to try to remember to come back. These cat boxes, man. I am just never ahead. Never ahead on these things. I completely missed the one that was in Karoki City. Karoki City, whatever. South Gand, whatever it was. Don't talk to me like that. I'll end this quickly. Heaven's Oh, it's tearing through these guys. You guys remember not very long ago when we were fighting those uh, wyverns and hornets and stuff? And it was like hard not hard but they were just they were extra healthy they were like Campbell's chunky soup instead of like regular soup and it took a little more work to get through them these guys are nothing like that this is like thin tomato soup that's right I'm comparing mobs to Campbell's soup if I can remember what Campbell's soup slogan is I'd probably try to make a joke but I can't something about soup Campbell's soup. We're all about soup. That's our soup. We're soupy to the max. Campbell's soup. Just like the mobs. Campbell's soup. Makes you a man. I don't what what is their slogan? Why can't I think of it? The only thing I could think of is the commercials with the NFL players and their moms. You are turning into a talkative little pal, aren't you? Campbell's soup. Mm-mm good. That's what it is. It's mm-mm good. Wow, I was like trying to get all fancy and stuff. How do I make fun of mm-mm good? 
But I'm this close. I won't miss. Form zero. Thunder. Killing Malakim. Mm -mm, good. That's all I can think of. It's terrible. Oh no. No. Oh, this is a different one, and I don't like him already. It, it's a dragon thing. Oh, this is not looking good right now. Still can't trigger that thing. Yes, you can. You can die, and you will die because I screwed up. I got you pinned. Sorry. Pretty good, not as good as Eisen's, but pretty decent. Eisen, Razor, please. I'm assuming that's what he's working on. Eisen's not going to be able to raise me. <laughs> I have to be the one keeping them busy so that Eisen can raise me, so... Disgraceful. And it killed me. My bad. <sighs> Oops, sauce. Here we go, we got this though. We got this though. We got this. Almost there. Trying to dodge while being blasted. Not the best idea. Come on, guys. Oh, that was close. Not doing good. Come on, guys. He's just that close. 
is dead. Somebody just finish him off for me. There we go. Was a considerably powerful enemy. I and I had to switch out because he kept trying to raise people. He had a full stack for his ability, but he wouldn't use it. He was trying to. Uh, oh well. I didn't even read what that thing did. So I got a thing and it did a thing, but I don't know what it was. So congratulations on that. Uh, we are gonna cook because <laughs> that's yee. The best one I got for restoring food. Yeah, pretty much. Trigger condition, everyone's HP is under 45%. Um, okay. Trigger condition. Oh! Oh, is that what that... Is that what I think it is where trigger condition... All right, one of you guys that plays this game and does cooking and actually knows what's going on is trigger condition where the only time I'll auto cook it is if everybody's HP is under 60%. And so I could actually, I could actually be putting auto cook on and it'll have a trigger condition. I thought it just meant that it cooked every single time. So whether I needed it or not, but if it's trigger condition means that it has to meet that requirement in order for every, for the, the, person to cook it oh now I'm disappointed in myself I bet that's what it is I don't know if I need 20% I need 30% eat up it's the chef's recommendation I bet that's exactly what it is <sighs> I'll wait I'm not gonna worry about it right now I've made it this far without true conditions. I can make it a little longer. I'm gonna finish clearing out this area. So I don't get attacked. Again. Watch me get another dire beast right away. Happy birthday, here's another dire beast. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday, guys, don't worry. But if it were, that would be what the game would do. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. And this guy over here. Looks like you want to die. I bet that's exactly what it is. Now I'm triggered because I didn't realize that trigger condition was. Trigger condition just triggered me. That's what it did. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem. That's. How did I not notice that before? It probably would have helped if the game had explained Another it better. Victory. But I bet it's one of those things that, like, if I was a master of Tales of games, I would notice already. But I'm not a master of Tales of games. I'm, like, adequate at best. I'm an adequate adept. That's what I am. I'm an adequate adept at Tales of games. Woohoo! Kitty litter and mass supply. Maybe I can go back and get that cat box. Set it on fire, girl. Oh. There we go. Hmm. Okay, so one doorway leads to downstairs. Look at that. Mummy's like, or no mummy, that zombie's like watching me. What are you doing down there? I'm killing things. You. Nothing can stop these fists. Is 
we go. Unlock this side. That's enough for the cat box. Stairs again, stairs again. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna go ahead, call it here. I'm gonna run back and get the cat box. Oh crap, which way is the right way? Well, there's a bat over there, so this is the right way. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get that cat box. And then I'll come back on the next episode and we'll finish exploring these awesome ruins. And if anybody knows anything about that trigger event and cooking stuff, let me know because now I'm triggered. I'm like, <laughs> I actually think I'm stupid now, which I always think that. So I'm in good company with myself. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.